one of those kind of dead? Alright. Fun, 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 uh... Are we all tapped out now? Shall we stop? No, we can keep going. You're oh, gone. the fifth chapter is a long one. Alright, you're, wel you're welcome to pass it on to any time. Let's see. I'm gonna do it, but I... What should I do this time? Uh... Oh, oh, oh. The dancing mushroom. Ooh. All mushroom right. dance, mushroom, mushroom dance. dance, whatever could it mean? Mushroom, be? yes, it means lack You have lived a life thing. of sin. <laughs> you will now Chapter 5. Oh my god, that is awesome. Cloud and the Chocobo races. Rino and Blaze are done fighting and they both start to cheer Cloud on. Reno is yelling, go, go, Cloudy Pie. Blaze is saying, yays. Look at Cloud, go. <laughs> then the commentator is saying, this is a tough race and coming around the bend is Cloud with Irvine right behind. And it looks like Irvine is catching up to Cloud and is ready to pass Cloud. But before Irvine could make the move to pass Cloud, he says, across the finish line. Then Irvine says, <coughs> Then Irvine says, nice race. Then six Cloud's hands. Thank you, Cloud says. Then Cloud says to Irvine, You did not bat yourself, Irvine, Cloud says in a congratulations tone. Thanks, Cloud, I appreciate that. Now time for me to find Sef Selfie and Yuffie to see if they want some of me, Irvine says pervertly. Okay, Cloud says oddly. While Irvine when is leaving, Rino and Blaze are racing over the cloud, and whoever gets there first will be rewarded with a kiss. Well, let's see, Blaze trips Rino, and Rino gets up and pushes Blaze in the wall, Blaze gets knocked out, and Rino gets to Cloud, and Rino gives Cloud the longest French kiss ever. Cloud starts to blast, then Cloud says... Twitter... Twitter faded. Why? Twitter faded. Thanks, Rino, I love that. Then Rino says, no problem, Cloudy, bye. It's uh, Twitter painted. It's gonna get pregnant. Yeah, I'm gonna continue with two more, at least two more sort of ones. <clears throat> now I need to go see Esther, the Chocobo race manager, and find out my next opponent is going to be, Cloud says to himself. But Cloud is on his way to the Chocobo office, he runs into Tifa. Hey Tifa, how is Foxy doing? Cloud asks scarily. Not too good, Tifa says. Foxy started to talk. Foxy started saying something like a cat like girl attacked me. But after that, she became unconscious again. Tifa says sadly, Oh man, that sucks. I do not want to lose her since she was and still is a good wife. But what you told me, I need to win the next three Chocobo races so I can bring her to hospital. Cloud says in sad tone. Tifa says, Yes, you do. Thanks. Tifa, I needed to hear your concern for Foxy. Cloud says in a somber tone. So South Squalls stopped by to see you while you were watching Foxy? Cloud says, yes, he has and he's worried about Foxy also. Since he was the one that saw you and Foxy get married and he's worried a lot more than me. See what says oddly. <coughs> I can handle this. <coughs> At least there's actual quotation marks here. In chapter 4 there was none! <laughs> Consistent grammar! For once, for once, Chocobo was spelt correctly, but yet, for some reason, there's still more, uh, like, I don't even know how to actually pronounce the misspellings. It's like, you got Chocobo Boo Boo, and then, uh, and then earlier, I saw a lot of Chi, Chicobos, so, whatever comes first, I think we all know what it is, though. Maybe it's chocolate. Maybe it's called, maybe it's pronounced chocolate. Chocolate bell. Yes. Chocolate it was, bell. It was there when Foxy and I got married. It was a shame that you did not come and see the wedding, Cloud says disappointed. Yes, I know. I was dating Rufus at the time and we were like in the ca Casa de la Sol. Tifa said sadly, Ah, uh, but I know if you were around you would have sewed up at the wedding, right? Since we're like brother and sister to a point, right? Cloud says in a funny tone. Yes, I ruled it off, Cloud, Tifa says in a laughing way. Ha ha ha! 
Now off to see Esther, Claude says earnestly to Tifa. Claude gets to Chocoboray's office to see Esther. Hi Esther, so who's my next opponent, Claude says wonderingly. Well, let's see, your next opponent is going to be Gwesti Strope, Esther says with a ray of authority. Okay, cool. Claude says happily. Then Esther says, oh yeah, this is the second speed class of Chocobo racing, so you better be careful since these Chocobos are fast, Esther says courteously. Will do, Claude says agreeing. Okay, I'm going to say change to some other poor sucker. Well, oh. Who's it gonna be now? Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Who will it be now? The sock that I have stuck in my head is sexy back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Want to hear uh, Seth doing uh, Christopher Walken? <laughs> Let's change to Muffet. Oh, uh, Muffet. Ooh, Muffet, okay. I, I guess I have to go get her. And now I'm going to drink water. Excuse me. Go for it. Did someone call for me? Mm. Ooh, yes. I think he's about to <laughs> drop, drink bleach. <laughs> <laughs> nah, let's Just drink some of that spider off. tea instead. Maybe. Spider tea sounds <laughs> nice. Alright, let's go. Wait, where, where am I? Where am, hey, where cloudy am I? Pi hey, Cloudy Pie, what's up? Wait, wait up. up. Oh, wait up. It seems like even the boss of this place can't read. Oh boy. Hey Cloudy Pie, wait up. Oh, I can't pronounce words. <laughs> How? Oh. Renoa? Yep. These are ridiculous uh, names. Excuse me. <laughs> Alrighty then. Renoa, okay. Hey Cloudy Pie, wait up, Renoa says. I want to give you a present, okay? Renoa says excitedly. Cloudy waits for Renoa. So Renoa, what's the gift you want to give me? Cloud asks curiously. Renoa hands Cloud a box that is wrapped in blue and white wrapping paper. Cloud wonders what is in the po the package. The package, he thinks to himself. Cloud opens the box and it's a picture of you know Renoa and a see-through nightgown gown. Wow. This Okay then. We I need some more spider tea. Why are you not wearing any underwear? <laughs> and Cloud's Cloud sword just grew three sizes that day. <laughs> Alright, make that a lot of spider tea. <laughs> oh boy, I'm getting drunk tonight. Cloud is very happy about the gift that Renoa gave him. Renoa, Cloud asks. Why are you not wearing any underwear? Cloud asks very seriously. Simple I was reading Cloudy ahead. Pie. Yes, you were. I did not appreciate that. Simple Cloudy Pie, that's the way I sleep and just think after this whole battle is over. That's what's coming up with Sethera. <laughs> and some stupid name. Ultimecia. <laughs> Ult Ultimecia, okay. Ultimecia, you and me could celebrate a victory with some alone time where, where you can see me without my nightgown on. Yes! Woohoo! Oh boy. Go, Renoa! I don't know how I feel about this bitch. <laughs> As Renoa winks and smiles a playful smile. Really, Cloud says, blushing. Yep, Renoa says, still smiling from ear to ear. Suddenly, she's the Shasher Pat. Well, there is a problem in that way. Namely, my wife. I do not know what she would think of that, question mark. Cloud says importantly. Yes, you are right, Cloudy Pie. That is a problem. Renoa says disappointed. But she will not know since when you win all four chocobo races and claim your guilt after you pay the innkeeper. I will meet you on the sky ride and... We and we can play in there as she rings again. And I will be in my nightgown, you see, in that picture. Renoa says seductively. Sounds like a plan. Cloud says happily and smiles back. Cloudy Pie, one last thing for you so you can have good luck. <clears throat> a nice long French kiss. Thanks, Renoa. I enjoy that. Cloud says very happy. Yes, I know. Renoa says very happy back. I will be rooting for you to win. 
This is this just got very hot. Ah, very Lord. quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Sizzling. All right. Renoa says as she leaves to get back to her seat in the choke. In the ch 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 Chicobo. Chicobo. Chicobo Stadium. It's missing you know. It is missing you know. What is this? This is pain and suffering. I hope you enjoy it. What happened to you, Autumn? I, I love pain and kissing. suffering. Okay, well, um, let's see. While she's heading back to her seat, she hears strange noises in the room to her left as she walks by. It is probably Irving Selfie doing DDR or something else like that, Renoa says out loud. Oh, it's a very rated 18 and up, DDR. Wink, wink, giggity. <laughs> Renoa says out loud. Uh, while Cloud and... Oh, boy, more confusing names. Questions. This is not the best part. Questius? Questius. Wait, wait, wait. You got Questus, then you got Custus, and then you got Custus again, and then you got Questus again. I think it's supposed to be pronounced Kistus, but it's done with a Q-U. Like Kistus, Q- or Quistus. It's a Quistus. Quistus. That she is tough as shit. Lots of shit. Sexy whip. All right, but Cloud and Quixius, we're getting ready for the Chocobo race. Zell and Barrett were talking the arena challenge. Oh, t taking, that was my fault. Taking the arena challenge that Dio and Cloud won. They were, they are doing very well. They beat the first challenge very well with no problem. Redundant is redundant. The second challenge easy. The third challenge was at medium difficulty. The fourth challenge was not too tough. 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 With double F for emphasis. F is for fantastic. F is for fuck this fan fiction. Was not too tough and not too easy. The fifth challenge in the arena was tough. Fuck this fan fiction. Barrett almost was knocked out, but before that happened, Zell's limit break came up and he defeated the monster and saved Barrett from being knocked out. The sixth challenge was even harder than the fifth. Then the fifth battle, and Zell almost got knocked out, but Barrett repaired Zell back for saving his back. Ugh. For saving his back during the fifth challenge, the seventh challenge won, but oh, the seventh challenge won, but barely. The eighth and final challenge they won. Barrett and Zell got their final limit breaks. Wow, that rocks! And this is awesome. We won our final limit breaks. <sighs> Barrett and Zell said in unison, "Oh boy, I think it's about time I leave." I think I hear lots of spider tea and biscuits waiting for me. <laughs> Who should I pick? Let's see. I think I'm gonna give this to Flowey. Ooh. Ooh. Have fun with that, dearie. <laughs> okay, uh... Where are I? have lost track. Cloud and Quist- and Kistis. Or Questus. Now, as the guy spells it. Cloud and Quest just got ready for the Chocobo race. That's where it started. Oh my God. Cloud and Quest just got ready for the Chocobo race, and they heard these their names announced over the intercom, and then they picked out their cho Chocobo <laughs> Chocobos. <laughs> Cloud picked a nice, healthy blue Chocobo. It has nice fair feathers that are shiny and blue and pretty. And Chukabo's name in Dark Chukabo Blue. Quits. Quits. Spit out. I can't. No. Quist just picked out a pink chocobo to match the color of cloth she wears, and the choco's most name is... It seems even Flowey can't understand this. 
Prada. Then Twista says, are you ready to race clouds since I am? Twista says in a competitive way, I am ready as I will ever be, Clout says. I mean, I beat Irvine Tidious in the race before, so it should not be hard to beat you, Mistro. Holy crap, I think it's easier to read this off menacingly without any form of innocence. Well, then go for it. Clout says cocky. Twista says, do not get overconfident since you might lose. Costa says to Cloud strongly, on your mark, get set, go, the announcer says. Cloud and Quistus starts the race. <gasps> Quistus is in the lead right now. Then Cloud comes around the corner and passes Quistus. Yes, I am ahead in this race. Cloud was not paying attention. And Cloud crashes into a tree that was on the track. Then he falls off his true kubo. And Questus passes Cloud and says, Hey, Cloud, nice one. Hey, Cloud, nice one. I will hope you would go. <laughs> I figured my head up the wall now. Well, shit. I, I hope you recover fast, since your hopes of saving Foxy are track. Krista says unwisely. Cloud's knocked out, but before Cloud gets unconscious, he hears, he hears that comment that Krista makes, and he recovers fast and gets back on his chocobo and totally blows by calling me at this time. I am in the middle of race. Krista picks up the phone and asks, who's this? Why, it is me, Cloud just thought. How are you failing be, how are you failing be in last place? Cloud says, happy. Oh, yeah, one more thing. I thought you lost the top of your outfit a few miles back, and you also lost your bra also. Cloud says laughing and sees you at the finish line with no shirt and bra. Questus looks around and wonders to herself, Man, it got chilly. <laughs> Smother your body with chili. Man, in chili, man, baby, man, back ribs. Man, chili, it got chili. baby, back ribs. Barbecue <laughs> sauce. Man, it got chilly in here. Questus looks down and notices that she is topless. Shit! She says, Cloud, who's right? I do not have time to, to go back. And look now, since I am in the middle of the race! So she continues on the racetrack. While Questus is nearing the finish line, Questus sees Cloud, then Questus sees, says, half naked and cold, good race. And congrats, Cloud, you won, nice job. Thanks, Questus, you did not do bad yourself. Although you're, although you're topless, and I can tell you're cold by looking at your topless butt. Redundance is redundancy. God says laughing. Oh my god. Hard uh, are hard. Okay, okay, one more paragraph. <laughs> so, now time to go back and see who Esther has picked for my next opponent. Cloud says wandering. While Cloud is on his way to see Esther to hear who his next opponent is. While on his way back to see Esther, he sees Blaze who has finally recovered from her fight with Renoa. Hi, Cloud. How are you? I have a present for you. Really? Cloud says a little bit happy. I hope it is not a picture of Blaze in see-through clothes. And, and see-through cloths. Yes, I do. It is a necklace I picked out for you. It has a wolf on it. And it said it's my way to show you I love you. Since we own it, it's... I can atone to that. It's I can a slut too. Uh, since since Riona is a bitch, always fighting with me. Since I love you as much as she loves you, but I am pretty sure I'm out of character now. Just a bit, dearie. Oh my god, I don't know if I can get back into it. But man, I wish something bad would happen to Riona so it could be me and you forever. Blaze says almost 
Craig. Whoa! Cloud says shock. Lay off. Lay off on the love thing. Do not forget. I have Foxy, my wife, to care for. Uh, and I have to heal her so she can tell me who to beat her up beyond Rick. 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 Cloud says upset. Really? Blaze says, says a little oddly. Blaze thinks to herself, shit, 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 when Roxy is healed. 100% Foxy is going to say Blaze was the one that beat me up beyond recognition. <laughs> and she tried to brainwash me for, to forget about you, Cloud. Then Blaze thinks to herself again, I am going to be screwed. Then Blaze leaves and goes back to the audience. <laughs> well done, Flowey. <laughs> you broke up a little a few times there, but you did your best. I can't do it. Have some spider tea. Made from spider for spiders, from spiders of spiders. Exactly. Isn't that just like <laughs> hot water and webs or something? <laughs> why why is it so white? We put a lot of ingredients, if you will, into it. <laughs> Very creamy. Mm. <laughs> All right. So who's a who do you want to pass it on to? Uh, Naps Naps to Blook, whatever Ooh, how you pronounce Naps, it. Naps to Blook. All right. I was expecting an empty chair. Oh boy. I'm gonna get all depressed and shit. Okay. Oh dear. Now, now it's my turn to read this. Oh god. <coughs> hey guys, it's me, Nestor Bluck. You, you, you all can stop watching now, cause it's my turn to read, okay? Yeah. Well, Cloud gets back to see Esther for the third time. So Esther, who's my next opponent in this? Chickabo race, Cloud says, wondering. Esther thinks, what about Vincent Valentine? Esther says happily, the king of emo and goth. Cloud, Cloud says wittily, yep, that is right, Cloud. Esther says intrigued, so Esther, why did you pick Vincent Valentine to race me instead of Squall or Zell? Cloud asks confused. Simple, Esther said. Let's see. Squall was hanging with Tifa. Barrett and Zell are recovering from the arena <coughs> challenge. Renoa was going back to her seat. Blaze was not around for me to ask her. Selfie and Yuffie did not want to be separated from each other. And, well, Vincent is a kick-ass looking person, <laughs> Esther says happily. And I sound a little too much like Meditun, so... Sorry about that, okay? Okay, Cloud says excitedly. Oh, yeah. One last thing. This is a race class three of the Chocobo classes, and the tracks are a lot longer. So, you better pick a Chocobo that will have a lot of stamina for this race. You will need it. Esther says to Cloud, assuring. Okay, well, Cloud says to Esther. The announcer says, Cloud Strife and... Vincent Valentine to the starting line. I repeat, Cloud Strife and Vincent Valentine to the starting line. Thank you. When Cloud was walking to the starting line, Cloud saw Yuffie and she looked very tired, just like me. Hey, Yuffie, I have not seen you this whole time while we have been here at the Golden Saucier. I mean, I walked by and Saw you in Salfi, but you were too busy to come and see me. Claude says to Yuffie, Well, you are right. Claude and I did not notice you. But man, Sophie is more hyper than me. She has been keeping up all every night. And man, she never stops when we have alone time. She is like a newer, never-ending well of water. <laughs> that sounded so wrong. <laughs> I can imagine a never-ending well of water. <laughs> In so many ways. 
put them <laughs> off, but Irvine comes around to join us, and she's like soaking wet, and damn, Irvine has the weirdest effect on her. Yuffie oh, says very tinyly. Well, Yuffie, how did, how did you get away from Selfie? Cloud asks. I was hungry, and I heard that was your next opponent, and my first love, Vincent Valentine, so I want to be there to support him against you, Cloud. You wow, so my good friends. friends! All my good friends, are, and all my good lovers. Okay, be careful. Going to your seat, I think. Berlaise and Renault are fighting again. Cloud says annoyed. Okay, I will, Yuvi says excitingly. Uh, okay, maybe I should... This is a long-ass paragraph. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, I'm going to read you the end of the page. Cloud is at the starting line, then he hears a strange, familiar voice. Cloud, long time no see. The voice says, Cloud says to himself, Vincent Valentine... Is that you? Yes, it is. Vincent says darkly. We haven't seen each other since... What was it? Not Advent Children, but... Oh, God, that other game's starting you. And I don't remember the name. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been? I have not seen you since the time we got to see the Golden Saucier. Clown says surprise. I was doing some dark business for Tsung and Elena. It's all right, Tsung says. You don't have to spell my name right. I understand. <laughs> Vincent says mysteriously. Really, Cloud asks. Does it have to do with Sephiroth or the Northern Cave? Cloud asks. I could not say. It is strictly Turk business, but if you win the race against me, I will give you some information. Claude says darkly. Okay, Claude says wonderingly. So how did Esther get a hold of you if you are not around? Claude says. Simple, Claude asks. Simple, Vincent says. Why is Yuffie up in the phone, you idiot? Roots, Vincent asks rudely. Oh, Claude is embarrassed. Why is Yuffie up in the audience? Vincent asks, confused. Oh, she was... Hungry, and she wanted to come out and support you during the race. Cloud says normal. Okay. Vincent says surprised. Though, I thought she was not into selfie, not me. Still thinking to himself. Actually, I have a fan. She might be annoying, but she is a fan, and she loves me. Since I was the one who turned her loose and active. Cloud says. Ready to race, Vincent? In bold? Why is it in bold? Because he he's saying be it really excited. loudly, I guess. Oh, he's I... yelling. That says it right there. Ready to race, Vincent? Yes, I am. When Cloud... Oh, dear. I, I'm getting all pumped up now, so... When Cloud says Vincent was torn out of his thoughts... Yes, I am ready to race, Cloud, but you will not win. Vincent says confidently, we will see, Cloud says confidently back. The audience, on your mark, get set, go. Cloud says, and Vincent start off well. Vincent passes Cloud. Cloud passes Vincent. Then Vincent passes Cloud again. <laughs> wow, the audience is loving this race. The crowd is getting wild. And some members of the audience are saying, Go, Cloud, go. And Blaze and Renault are saying, I love you, Cloud, and I hope you win the race. They don't say in unison, wow, that is a long sentence for them to cheer, but fuck it. Then Yuffie yells, I love you, Vincent, and after the race, win or lose, meet me in the theater. The commentators say, wow, I have not seen this much action in a race in a long time. Yes, the two birds are racing back and forth, but yeah, it's exciting, all right. Yes, you're right. 
The other commentator says excitedly, This reminds me of a race between Sam and Chuck seven years ago. Who are they? I don't know, but fuck it, let's keep this moving. It was fast paced as this, the commentator says back then. Looked like Vincent's Chocobo is running out of breath. Damn, Chocobo, Vincent is irritated. You're so peak, weak and pathetic. I should have picked another one that is stronger. Well, why didn't you? The Chocobo says. <laughs> I'm in hell. I think you've been making this story a bit worse, dearie. Oh, yes. I think so. His phone starts to ring. Vincent checks the caller ID and sees that it is Sung calling him. Yes, Sung, what do you want? I am busy right now, <laughs> Sung says angrily. Don't text and drive. <laughs> I was checking up on you, wondering if you told Cloud anything yet, Cloud says secretly. No, I have not told him anything. I was on Turk business, and if he wanted some info, he would just have to beat me to get the race and get some information. Uh, Vincent says coolly. Uh, I'm gonna pass it on to. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna pass it on to the Rock Sun now. Hello. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. You know what? Oh wait, you're not me. Uh, let's do one of the Goblin Soldiers instead. I know you're not. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> uh. oh, it was my mistake. <clears throat> oh, very typical of me. Yeah. yeah. By the, By the way, way YouTube, YouTube uh, I'm still uh, kind of sick, so it's, uh, uh, it's like, like my voice is all gurgly, gurgly, so, but, you know. No worries. Drink some spider tea. Uh, I've, I've, been able to ask this long. I've had I've regular tea, tea with honey. Tea. I hope that doesn't piss you off. Trust me, you'll be able to do a much better job than me right now. Okay. <laughs> so, did you finish that whole paragraph after the third Chocobo race? Uh... Let's see. Do, 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 do. You finished it, and Vince, Vincent says coolly, "You're gonna start off at night." Nice well, Vincent, Vincent, I beat you. <laughs> <laughs> I beat you. So, uh, so what's this new information you have for me? Cloud asks, waiting. Well, Cloud, the new information is this. The Turks and I were at the th Northern Cave. When we got there, Sephiroth was not in his barrier, and the Black Matara was on the ground in the Northern Cave, which is not good. So we picked up the Black Metra and we brought it to Rufus. So we can examine it, and after... What? You might want to stop there. You kind of missed a whole chunk. <laughs> yes, you did! <laughs> Wait a go, dearie. <laughs> oh, no, I we're on that skip the whole chunk. Let's see, um... You want to oh. start off with nice work right after Vincent says coolie. Vincent says coolie, nice work. Sorry. I stopped Oh, you the... didn't! Lo oh. He never really did answer you. I never finished the paragraph. You just made an ass out of you and me. Assume. Oh, that's even better. I'm so sorry, guys. Nice I'll work, Vincent. In my that is now. why you're a good Zerk, Turk, and I highly respect you. Son says happily, uh, at least you stick to your job, unlike Reno and Rude, who are always on vacation. Son says, every, 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 very much so, very much so. I think your I think your spider tea has been changing my voice there. <laughs> Good. Well, nice talking to you to, to you, uh, Vincent. And good luck in your race. Sung says supportive. Thanks, Sung Bye. Vincent says less angry. The phone rings again. This time it is youthful. I mean Yuffie. Hey! Yuffie. <laughs> youthful! Hey, Wiggle hey, my egos. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> waffles. Hey, you, 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 you I almost said you again. <laughs> we are not drunk, I assure you. I don't drink except spider tea. I do. Oh boy. 
What is going down? Here then. Vincent says, a bit happy. You, you fool! <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 it's you. Yuffie says, "Well, right, I just figured. I, well, I just figured I would call you and see what what time it is, Yuffie." Hey, Yuffie, what is going down? It just says, oh, I'm a cop. I mean, it just says, dead. Okay, let me just read you normally and get back to speed. Okay, so Yuffie says, well, I just figured I would call you and see what have you been up lately. Okay. Uh, well, nice talk to you. Uh, uh, <laughs> Vince, baby. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> do you want to switch to another character? No! no I can do it! it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don't worry guys, I'll just put on my blue, dapper blue cat Maybe that'll motivate you to keep going. Uh, deep breaths. Just like shaking his head behind the screen. <laughs> All right, maybe, if, maybe it, maybe it might help if if this guy isn't here, so that way he can move on or something. Then again, it's probably all my fault. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Devile's very tired. He's just I, shaking his head, listening right. to the whole thing. Uh, well, I just figured I would cut. Okay. okay. Well, I just figured I would call you and see what have you been up lately, Vince Baby tr tr Yuffie. Since I'm, since in a lovely tone, uh, nothing much. Nothing. <laughs> You're gonna need to pass it on to someone else. Nothing much. Nothing much, Yuffie. Just doing my Turk stuff and guarding my crystal. Fuck it. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I, I give up. Yeah, uh, that'd be best. Monster kid, go. <laughs> oh boy, okay, let me go get him. I couldn't read. But no. Hey guys, sorry about that. My mom just called me. Yo, that was hilarious. Oh, I think I had some spider tea. Teach, I gave up. Okay, who 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 are you switching off to? Monster Kid. Monster Kid. Yo! Oh. How's it Where going, guys? Hey, Monster Kid. I kinda... Yo! 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 So. <laughs> so, where are we reading off at? That's the question, yo! Ah! Yeah. You're, I, I, I barely read it, so just start with nice work, Vincent. <laughs> You're gonna read that instead. <laughs> I didn't make any progress. Alright, yo. Uh, I had some of the spider. I had. Uh, I had. Yo! I had some of Muffet's spider tea. Don't drink that! Is this going to be it's changing unedited? everyone's voice. <laughs> okay, I think I got it down. I think my voice is recovering. <laughs> that might still sound a bit weird. That spider tea is really weird. Yo, okay, let's get started. Nice work, Vincent. This is why you're a good Turk, and I highly respect you. Song said happily. Says happily. Ah. Spider T, never again. <laughs> at, 
At least you laugh. Yo! <laughs> what is this? At least you stick to... Does anyone need my help here? Wow, you're alive! <laughs> That's Autumn's thing! I just have to keep saying yo! You're a kid too, right? Ugh, right? My voice. Maybe I... you should just call it a day. <laughs> you can't leave it here! I got this! I got this! In the name of my guy! Go yo! for it, Mon- Don't worry, Monster Kid. I have faith in you. I know you can do it. Thanks! I got this, yo! Remember, yo! It's, remember it's Yuffie, not you. Fool. I'll keep that in mind, yo! For the name of Undyne! Read the damn story already! Nice work, Vincent! That is why you're a good turkey. I highly respect you, Sunset so Emily! At least you can- At least you stick to your job, unlike Rano and Ro Rude, who all, are always on vacation, soon says, irritated. Well, nice talking to you, Vincent! And good luck in your race, yo! Sung- <laughs> a Supportive. Thanks, Sung. Bye, yo! Vincent says less angry. Re angry? The phone- oh, The phone rings, and this time it is Yuffie! Hey, Yuffie, yo! What's- What is going down, yo? Vincent says a bit happy. Yuffie says, well, I just figured I would call you and see what have you been up to lately since Vince, baby. Vince, baby, I made it worse, yo. Yuffie says in a loving, lovingly tone, I can't read. I'm still a kid. You gotta excuse me for my worser grammar. All right, yo. Nothing much, Yuffie. Just doing my Turk stuff and guarding my crystals, giggity, of my beloved Lu- Whoa. What kind of name is that? Can I switch that to Undyne? That would make the story a lot better. I believe it's Lucretia. Lucretia? No. Lucretia. All right. Do you not Final Fantasy VII much? I do. I take it they don't have a lot of those games in the underground. Well, like I've heard about it. There's this. There's this other. There's this other kid, yo. His name is Frisk, and like he was telling me about it the other day. I guess I wasn't really paying attention because I saw Undyne. That's when Frisk had to leave. He's really scared of Undyne for some reason. I think she's awesome! Alright, yo. Uh, nothing much, you be just doing my Turk stuff and guarding my crystals, giggity, of my beloved Lucrece... Luce... Ah, Lucrecia. I want to leave it at that, yo. Vincent said in a depressed voice. Really, Yuffie says happy. So, found any new materia for me, Vince, baby? Yuffie asked wonderingly. No, I have not, Vince says in this upsetting tone. And stop calling me Vince, baby. You know how I hate being called that, Yuffie, Oofy. What? Yuffie, Oofy? Hey, yo! This ain't right! This ain't right, yo! All right. Yuffie, Oofy, Vincent says... <laughs> Oh, wait, I get it now. Vincent, <laughs> Vincent says angrily. He can be taught. <laughs> I get it now. All right, you. Let's continue. Hey, do not call me Yuffie Yuffie. God, I hate that. You know this, Vincent. Yuffie says angry. Yes, I know that you hate me calling you. That. Wow. That how do you feel? How do you think I feel when you call me Vince, baby? Yo, Vince says calmly. Vincent says calmly. Okay, you're right, Vincent. Yuffie says agreeing. Anyway, so... <laughs> you Are you going to meet me at the theater, then, if you win or lose? The race with Cloud? Yuffie asks, guessingly, yo. Guessing, yo. Yes, I will meet you after the race at the theater, Vincent says in a good, loving tone. Okay, love you, Vince. You... <laughs> yo. This ain't right. Yuffie says very happily. Love you, you, love you too, too, Yuffie. Oh, boy. <laughs> the only thing I love is Undyne, and she's not even here. Okay. Vincent says in a good and loving tone, Vincent hangs up the cell phone with a capital C and is glad that Yuffie's supporting him. The Chuck Bowl are, in, are still going on, and Cloud and Vincent are still passing each other. Because, you know, we gotta have some sort of thing going on. Ah! Yo! Then Cloud crosses, crosses, then Cloud crosses the finish line and wins the third Chocobo race, yo. All right, that was pretty awesome. We boring. I want to do it. Yes. Should I keep going? Do you want to? No. We got a message here. Oh, we got another guy. Uh. 
Should I just kind of... Well, let's see. If you want to pass it to someone, go right ahead. Uh, all right. Let me see. I got a list here, people. Uh, let's see now. A lot of people already went by you. Undyne's not here. Um, I kind of got ripped off because I couldn't read sentences really. <laughs> yeah! I kind of had to replace you there, yo. Kind of pathetic, yo. Let's see. Okay. There's got to be someone here. Yo, 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 got to find someone good who ain't Undyne, making everyone else worse, yo. Uh, you know what? I haven't heard Geshtar. Let's go get that guy in. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Yeah. All right, welcome back, Maybe Guest Star. Get... Maybe I should get Funha. Funha! Yo! It is now my turn to read. <clears throat> well, Winston, I beat you, so what's with this new information you have for me? Cloud X waiting. Well, Cloud, the new information is this. The Turks and I were at the Northern Cape. When we got there, Sephiroth was not in his barrier, and the black materia was on the ground in the northern cane. Which is not good, so we picked up the black materia and we brought it to Rufus. So he can examine it, and afterwards he destroyed it. So Sephiroth will not be as powerful as before. But when the black materia was destroyed, and this came out of it, whosoever destroys this black materia will unleash devastation and pain, and ruin the time flow of the world and will unleash something more. More powerful even than the original master of this black materia, two enemies will come together and form an evil alliance. Vincent says darkly. <clears throat> I don't know. Now I wonder why I met Squall and the rest of his crew. Since time got messed up because of the black materia being destroyed, Cloud said sucked. You are right, Cloud. Vincent says surprise. What's the Anything more to that prophecy, Cloud asked Vincent. Not that I know of, but I am not sure I will call Chang to see if there's anything more to that prophecy. Okay, Cloud, Vincent says emotionless. Okay, Vincent, do that. I will be right here waiting for you to be done talking to Chang. Cloud says in anticipation. Vincent picks up his phone and dials Chang's number. The phone rings. Chang speaks up and the phone says, Hi, Vincent. May I help you, my best Turk? Sun says strongly. Yes, sir. You can... You can! Was there anything more to the Black Materia prophecy? Vincent asked, guessing. Yes. There was two common heroes who will team up and destroy the evil alliance. But there will be great loss on the hero side of the battle. Oh, if one or both fall in love with the ma two main heroines, there will be peace on Earth and no more fighting or pain. What? What? <laughs> But the time flow will be still messed up for two years. <laughs> Thanks, son. I will let you... I will let Cloud know this Vincent says happy. So, Vincent, what is the rest of the prophecy? Cloud asks. This is the rest of the prophecy. Two common heroes will join together and fight the, the evil alliance. There will be great, great loss on the hero side and the battle. Oh, and if one hero or both heroes fall in love with the main heroes, will the peace on earth, no more pain and suffering, no more fighting, and the time flow will must be for a couple of years. Vincent says with a smile. Wow! Klaus is very surprised. That is odd! I need to tell school. Well, that and see if he can figure the prophecy out. Klaus says happy. Time to see who next opponent is going to be. Klaus says cocky. Uh, the Emperor needs to enlist the that sentence again. <coughs> this. Jesse, how are you able to read all of that without dying? Mm. He's a very this good grammar good. twist my tongue! He is not part of the Elite Four for nothing. Uh, I can do this! I rigged my shirt off! Try not to strain yourself, Geshi. He's got balls. Okay, I'm sorry, what did I miss? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Go to the chapter 5 new challenger. A new well, challenger has appeared. Way to see. <laughs> well, only way to see. Okay, hello guys. I'm sorry I'm late. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, we're just you... about done. <laughs> we're just about done. Uh, we're, once we're done with chapter 5, we're just going to stop. Yeah, we okay. should save chapter 
six for the grand finale. Good morning. Jason. Wait. Wait. Jason. It's me. Oh, boy. Now it's really crowded. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we picked a fine time. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Hey, I just oh. woke up. What's up? <laughs> Morning. Um, you're in the yeah, middle of a video. <laughs> well, let's just go to all the way. There's just one more chapter left after this. We could finish okay. this. I read this one paragraph in mind. Alright, give me something to do. Deep sexy tone. <clears throat> I'll do well, the last chapter. Go ahead. Silence! While on his way to see Esther to learn who his next opponent is going to be, he runs into Selfie. Oh, sorry Selfie, I did not see you there, so why are you out and about Cloud asks Selfie? Well, I was looking for you, Yuffie, have you seen her? Selfie asked. Yes, I have, I think I saw her and Vincent go to the theater to watch the show. So I guess you miss her, but I will let her know that you were looking for her, okay? Cloud says happy, okay Selfie. Says unhappy. Then Cloud walks into Esther's office. So who's my final opponent? Cloud asks Esther. Well, Cloud, you actually have two opponents. Cloud, you know them quite well. And it's hard for me to believe, but your final opponents are Ares and Jack. What? what? Cloud says. But they're dead. How that can be? They're both dead. How can they raise me? If I am so confused right now. You two. Well, join the club. I do not know, Esther says confused. Wait, Cloud says, I know why, stupid me, I forgot the time flow is not right, since the Black Materia prophecy said that. So that's why I can face Jack and Ares the Chocobo Rex. What is so, this madness? Not time continuity! What is this madness? Yes, now I need a new... This is worse than the Empire. And they're planning something yes. sinister. Mm. All right, Seth's ready to read. Okay, so you two new guys post who characters you have played in the projects by this teach guy here, and I'll pick something from there. <laughs> All right, you go ahead. You first, Jason. Guessing you're still there. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> okay. I don't think. I don't think he has. If you don't the, want to uh, go, I'll go. <laughs> I don't think he has the actual fanfic on hand. Uh, no, I don't. Okay. If you scroll uh, up, okay, let, it'll be there. Let's just put that link here Pick a, char again. Pick a character. I think either Mikey or me can probably continue reading. The Evil Alliance. <laughs> oh, yeah, there. The most yeah, garbage we're... story in all the world. <laughs> oh, you have not seen the garbage I've... story. <laughs> That's oh, all you should see. Uh, the stuff I read. Reality chose the worst time for me to get sick in the morning. <laughs> now I'm completely lost. Try not to strain yourself. At least this isn't a Sonic fan fiction. Oh, I'm trying. Oh, I'm God. trying. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> no. Next time. <laughs> Guys, I think I'm going to uh, put this uh, train back on the thoroughly derailed track, so... Uh, Frisk here, I'm going to be taking over for a bit. Uh, let's yeah, I okay, cool, don't even yeah. know where we are. Cloud, Zack, Eris to the starting line. Again, Cloud, Zack, and Eris to the starting line. Hi there, Cloud. How have you been, Zack asks. Well, let's see. After you died, I had to go into Midgar. I ran into this guy named Barrett. We blew some of the reactors in Midgar. Then I ran into Eris. When one of the reactors blew, I did not get out in time, and I fell into the church where Eris and I met her, and then her bodyguard. And I was her bodyguard for a while. When I went back into Seventh Heaven and reunited with Tifus and Eris, met her. They were a little jealous of each other, but after a couple of adventures, they came... They became good friends. Became two separate words. <clears throat> they became, then I they met. Became, oh. Then I met Nanaki. Yay! It should be Nanashi, I think. And Kate Sith and Sid. And I am at this annoying. Si I am at, oh, fuck me. I met this annoying 16-year-old. Her name is Yuffie, and she stole my material, but after I found the material, I became friendly with her, so she's in the party. Then I met this guy named Vincent, who is the king of emo. 
Then we went, we all went on an adventure to defeat Sephiroth, and he killed Eris, which I keep blaming myself, two separate words, for which caused me to lose Tifa to Rufus Shinra, since I get watching Sephiroth stabbing Eris and killing her, it kept haunting me for two years. Then Sephiroth came back, but this time he had three guys help him out. Their names were Kadaj, Laws, and Yazoo. I thought it was Luz. Jesus Christ, the spelling. I defeated them with no problem, but I still was not happy. During my marriage to Tifa, we had a son named Blinks. He was a cat who could travel through time, but that's a whole different story. I talked to him sometimes. Then I married Foxy, who right now is almost dead since I do not have the money to afford a good doctor. Even though I probably grinded for a good chunk of the game and got a lot shit ton of cash, I probably blew it all on good material or something. So, if I win the race against you two... Buy I a phoenix, phoenix down. down. <laughs> no, no, I think that only works against KO'd opponents. Dead people don't count. If I win the race against you two, I will have the money to heal her. Right now, there are two girls who are fighting over me. Then there is this prophecy I'm trying to figure out. Since it says the flow of time is messed up, so that is why I'm talking to you now, but you have been dead for two years. The same with Eris over there. Cloud says, very confused. End quote. Cloud waves to Eris, and Eris waves back. Strange, Sex says, looking a bit confu confused also. I hope this hap this prophecy is true. Then Eris and I will finally rest in peace after two years of being alive. Zack says happily, Yes, you will, Cloud says assuring. So, Eris, you glad to be back from the dead, even if it is temporary? Tempora temporally? Cloud Tempor asks Eris... Well, Cloud, yes it is. Good to be back among the living. Even if it is two years, I can walk around, see my old friend. Go visit my mom. Of course she will be like that. What are you doing here? You're dead. And I will be like, the time flow is messed up. I can be back alive for two years, Eris says happily. My mom will be like, why two years, honey? It's Pooh Bear spelling. Then I will tell her that Cloud and Squall fix this problem again, and I will be gone again, and be able to rest in peace with Zack in a couple of years, when the time flow is stable again, but before I die again, Zack and I are going to get married. Then we are going to make you a grandchild, so you will have a piece of Zack, and I will be with you for a while. Okay, Mom, Eris says happily. That is a good idea, honey. Wow, Eris, you have figured out I am glad you have this figured out. I am glad to hear that you will do that for the last two years alive, Cloud says happily. <clears throat> Thanks, Cloud. Oh, by the way, stop blaming yourself for what happened to me. There is nothing you could do to stop what happened to me, Eris says to Cloud. Forgivenesses. I will try, Cloud says happily back to Eris. So, are we ready to race w then, Zack and Eris? Yes, we are, Zack and Eris say together. Oh yeah, one last thing. This is a speed class 4 and the Chikpos are very fast, Cloud says. Okay, Cloud and Eris and Zack say together. So, the ch I am going to finish this chapter, by the way. So, the Chocobo race finally gets on its way. There is a lot of passing going on. Cloud passes Zack. Zack passes Eris. Eris passes Cloud and Zack. Then Cloud er and Zack and Eris, and the race keeps going on like that. Then, near the end of the race, a fireball is thrown at Cloud. WTF, Cloud says surprised. Who threw that fireball at me? Cloud says at Eris and Zack. Watch out, there is a fireball coming your way. Eris and Zack, avoid the fireball. Zack and Eris are wondering who threw that fireball at them. And Cloud says, there, they hear someone say, shit, I missed all three of them. Damn, they are good. I am sorry, Master, the voice said. Not good. Well, well, I am going to punish you this time, but if you mess up two more times, then you will not be living. 
Okay, I will try to be a better servant for you, Master Sephiroth and Mistress Ultimecia, the voice said. Cloud and Eris and Zack towards the finish line, and Cloud wins the fi prize money to save Foxy. Cloud and Eris say, good job. Thanks, Zack and Eris. I am Glade. I hope we see each other a lot in the next two years. Cloud says very happy. Oh, yeah. Cloud, you're invited to our wedding, Eris says happily. Cool, Cloud says. End of chapter. Woohoo. And Foxy got all of what? Three lines mentioned of her. Ooh. All right.